What's going on guys, it's Dan here, um, I'm just making a quick video, I actually didn't want to put, it's actually not anything to do with over here, I'm, this is just the way I'm sitting right now, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys, I didn't want to set up my, uh, uh, hold on, let's see here, uh, there we go, I didn't want to set up my, uh, my, my mic to record directly from PC using Fraps or whatever that I used to record the screen capture. I just wanted to, like, because I have my camera, it's, like, right handy, so I grabbed it. And something I want to show you, I, I'm, I have mixed feelings about this, and I'll explain in a minute. Um, first, I'll show you guys, okay. Okay, here we go. See this little guy over here? That's my Hopog HD PVR. That's the gaming edition. I got that one uh, a few months ago. I haven't had it all that long. Uh, I, wait, actually, I've had it for, like, six months now. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I, had, I, I had it before I moved. I moved here in April. And uh, where's my other one? I still have it. I have my old one in a box somewhere that I still have just in case it ever went down. I can't remember where I put it. It's probably in storage in there. But anyways, um, I want to show you something that a lot of people were a little up like, oh Jesus, it's dusty. Uh, something that a lot of people were upset about when this thing came out was, look, it just has component cables, and a lot of people are like, well, that's kind of a pain in the ass, you have all those component cables to record with. I kind of like that, just because I have, whenever I want to actually play casually, I can just unplug it, because I have HDMI in both my 360 and my PS3, so I can just unplug it and plug it right in and switch up to HDMI for the best quality. Since YouTube and games uh, only have um, have uh, 720 rendering most of the time. Now, I discovered something lately, and I'm a little miffed about it, yet I'm a little excited at the same time, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I'll show you right here. Uh, I, w I was on, I heard a rumor, I wasn't sure, so I went to the Hapog website, and check this out. The new HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. Are you serious? <laughs> They just released the gaming edition of the regular HD PVR and they come out with HD PVR 2 gaming edition. What's the difference? Well, here's number one difference. Oh, too close. Too close. 170 bucks, guys. I paid $200 more than because I'm in Canada. I had to get it shipped here all the way from the States. Okay, so I, I paid 200 and I think it was $230 just to get this damn thing here. Now it's 170, and not just that, but let me show you, hold on. Let me just one arm in here. Click on the PBR naming edition here. What's different? Well, obviously there's a new look. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. It looks like an alien spaceship, to be honest with you. Uh, but a few things that I love, hold on. I'm gonna zoom in, see this right here? No delay pass through, so you can play while you record. Delay? in your recording causes a lot, can potentially cause more skips. Basically what this means, when I record my, uh, for my, my PVR, what happens is there's actually a split delay from when I record. So basically when I'm record, when I hit record, if I, say for example, there's a preview open. What's happening on screen and what's happening on uh, being recorded is a few seconds behind. And it can cause problems if you, Will you shut up up there? Jesus, people are so loud up there. It pisses me off. Anyway, um, it causes a delay. Now there's no delay, and therefore there won't be a chance. It's no delay pass through. That is so awesome. I, I that you have no idea what that means to someone like me. And here's another thing. Here, I'll scroll down so you can see it. I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Uh, here's the crazy thing. I don't know why it's only on Xbox 360, but here are the video supported video formats. It records in 1080p for Xbox 360. It doesn't for PS3. I'm not 100% sure why. But that records at 1080p 30 frames per second, which is, you know, 1080p HD. But here's another thing. That's super handy dandy notebook. Hold on. Let me see. Actually, where's the pictures? Let me look at the, the, the connector diagrams. Yeah, I'll click connector diagrams. HD a mother fudge and I that's what it is. It's not component anymore. It's strictly HDMI base now So you can run a full HD thing through your PVR without worrying about it Which is cool. I like that 
and I like the fact that there's no delay. What bothers me the most is that they released this so soon after they released the gaming edition. Yeah, the gaming edition is only a few months old, but how long did it take them to release the gaming edition after the regular Hapog HD PVR, which came out in, I think, 2008 or 9, I'm not sure, either early 2009 or late 2008, one of those two. They release uh, the gaming edition early 2012 or late 2011, I think it was early 2012. And they released this like eight months later, are you kidding? Well actually it's not available yet, you can't order it yet, but it's coming out. So will I get it? I don't know, like honestly, like when I was saying about the HDMI, HDMI is good, but it's weird for my setup because I'll have to constantly be unplugging the PS3 and the Xbox 360 HDMI whenever I want to change it. Uh, so I'd have to un like run the feed from my console into the, instead of going to the TV, it would go into uh, the PVR, and then I'd have to do constant switch ups. So it'd be kind of weird that way. That's why I kind of like component. But I figured I'd let you guys know there there could be a new uh, Hapog HD PVR in the works for me to get. I don't know if I'd get it right now. I have no need to at the moment. But I figured I'd let you know uh, my thoughts on this whole thing, and maybe, I don't know, we'll see what happens with it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe it'll be better, I don't see the point in recording in 1080p, like I said, because all games are rendered in 1080p, any, or 720p anyway, except for a select few, I think, um, the latest Castlevania game was rendered in actual 1080p at 60 frames per second, it was pretty gong showish. but anyways, that's all I wanted to share with you guys, that's it, so, um, whoa, it's yellow. Why is it so yellow? That is not how it normally looks. Come on, stop being yellow. I think it's like adjusting to the brightness. That is not how it looks. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Peace.